500 years ago, Martin Luther wrote his 95 Theses. This is one of the catalysts which began what we now call the Protestant Reformation. So a question for us today is, what were some of the consequences of this Reformation? And what are some of the things that have affected our lives today? So I've, I've chosen three to have a look at with you. So first, one of the changes is Scripture in the vernacular, which means new ways of thinking. Prior to this, the only official translation of the Bible was called the Latin Vulgate. And the only people capable of reading this Bible were people in the church, some nobility, but the majority of the ones who could actually understand this were the church authorities. Now, your average everyday person would simply have to trust what the authorities said because they couldn't read it for themselves. Well, in step people like John Wycliffe, Jean Hus, Erasmus, and Martin Luther, and later on, William Tyndale, who all proposed that the scriptures should be written in the people's own language, in the vernacular. Now, with the advent of the printing press by Gutenberg in the same time period, we now have an, a, a mechanism by which we can get the scripture not only translated into the people's own language, but also into the people's own hands. The cost for books dramatically shifted and lowered, which enabled people to have the scripture in their own hands and in their own language. So this breeds new ways of thinking. So once you have new ways of thinking based on the fact that you've got the scriptures in your own hands and you can interpret them, now we have some new ways of interacting. We can discuss what the Bible actually says. We can debate, we can challenge what the church has been saying that the Bible actually says. No longer do we need to look to the Latin translation. We have the Bible in our own language. And so Erasmus talks about this in his introduction to the New Testament. And he says that your average everyday person should be reading the Bible. They should be thinking about the Bible. They should be discussing the Bible with each other. Now, this same Erasmus also wrote a book called In Praise of Folly, which was in response to his trip to Rome, where he noticed that the church leaders of the day weren't actually living up to the standards which they claimed. And so In Praise of Folly is a satire about the church. And he challenges, in a comical way, many of the church practices of the day. So, new ways of thinking, Scripture in our own language, breeds new ways of interacting. We can challenge the establishment. Now, a third consequence. Because we have new ways of thinking, we have new ways of interacting, we now have new ways of being. This is the beginnings of what we now call denominationalism. If you are reading and interpreting the Scripture in a way that is different from other Christians, no longer did you have to subject yourself to the authorities of the church. Now, you could go and create your own church. Now, there are positives and negatives to this, as many of you are probably thinking about right now. As you know, we have thousands of different denominations today, and many critics of the church would say, you claim to be one, but actually, there are thousands of you. How does this correlate with the gospel? Well, using the Bible, we look at denominationalism as God's unity in diversity. A positive way of understanding denominationalism is the fact that God brings us together as the body of Christ, a bunch of diverse people with diverse ways of worshiping and thinking about Him. But the truth still remains. So, new ways of thinking, scripture in the vernacular, new ways of interacting, we can challenge the church, breeds new ways of being, denominationalism. These are three consequences of the Protestant Reformation, which we still see the effects of today. So let's celebrate this, and let's celebrate the fact that we have the Bible in our own language. We're asked to wrestle with scripture and challenge one another. And let's celebrate the fact that the diversity of the church is a positive thing in the kingdom.